I'm really nervous. I put on perfume before filming this video. I don't know why. You can't smell me. I feel like you can probably smell my fear. So I haven't done this in a long time. I think the last time I actually made a vlog vlog was right after my high school graduation, which was almost a year ago. I'm not going to try to pull any it's not you, it's me arguments because even though I definitely have changed as a person, it was also YouTube that changed a lot, but I felt like a lot of the people who I had formerly watched and looked up to as really great YouTubers who are producing great content kind of lost a lot of their passion. For the past year, I've watched maybe about 10% of the videos in my sub box, but like obviously I'm back, so what changed? I don't know if you've heard of Dottolottle, but she's a vlogger from the UK who actually mostly does ukulele covers. She's just really cute and lovely in general. In the past month, and she does this a lot, but this particular month she did Bedham vlog every day in May. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what it is that made that particular series of videos seem so genuine to me. Maybe it was just the very first one in which literally all she does was fry herself an eggplant and sit down and like talk about her channel and kind of have a crisis with no makeup on. Eating a cheesy eggplant with no makeup on sounds like good times to me anyway so like that was inspiring on one level but also just a lot of the videos that Dodie made over the last course of this month were really focused on the idea of being real on YouTube. And she kind of talked about her main channel where she uploads her ukulele covers as kind of a ho ho ho, I'm dead a lot of ho ho, like kind of a persona filled space. She referred to her second channel, I think, as the thing that keeps me sane, where she's kind of free to be her real self and make videos that aren't necessarily super polished or the best quality and just kind of do whatever the hell she wants. And it made me really sad. Yeah, maybe objectively a drunk Q&A isn't main channel material for like the kind of stuff she usually puts out. But the fact that YouTube has turned so rapidly into a place where we all have to brand and market ourselves and fit into one specific bracket do that. I don't want to be a part of second channel culture where there's one place where you put everything that's how you think you're supposed to be and then another place where you can actually be you. So that's why I'm not going to call it veggie video every day in June because I may not make a video every day in June and it's okay if I don't make a video every day in June. So I'm just basically gonna call this Izzy posts a shit ton of videos and it happens to be June. So that's why everything I make this month, no matter how bad it is, is going right here on this channel, on my main channel, which used to be called Wrapped in Peace and is now just called my name. This is my little corner of the internet and a lot of things have happened in these past few years that have told us that YouTube is not necessarily a safe place, but I'm gonna make myself feel safe here and as long as you are like not a rapist, I hope you will also feel safe and welcome here. Okay, great. I hope I wasn't flashing you through this entire video and I'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye. Have you noticed? Have you noticed I'm seeing it right? Video, not video. When you're actually a media studies major in college and you waltz in and try to say video, a whole room of people give you shit for it.